Welcome back, everyone. So far in this section on routing, we have learned how to route to pages. Now, it turns out with Next.js app router, we have the capability to handle more than just page routing. We can also create custom request handlers for our routes using a feature called route handlers. Unlike page routes, which respond with HTML content, route handlers allow you to create restful endpoints giving you full control over the response. You can perform CRUD operations with a database similar to a Node plus Express app, except there is no overhead of having to create and configure a separate server. Next.js provides everything you need out of the box. Route handlers are also great for making external API requests. For example, if you're building an application that requires fetching data from a third-party service, route handlers are ideal. They run server-side, ensuring that sensitive information like private keys remain secure and never gets shipped to the browser. For those familiar with page-based routing, route handlers are the equivalent of API routes. As you can see, Next.js simplifies routing on both the front-end and back-end. With this intro in mind, let's see how to create our first route handler in this video. I have opened VS Code, and as you can see, I have created a new Next.js project using the command npx create next app route handlers demo. Once the command is executed, you should have a project similar to mine. Open the project and navigate to the source folder. We're going to begin by creating a new folder named hello within the app folder. Similar to page routes, route handlers must also be placed within the app folder. Within this folder, we create a new file. This time, the file name is route.ts. Again, this is a Next.js convention we must follow. Within the file, we define and export a function corresponding to the get HTTP verb. Export async function get. The function name matching an HTTP verb is another convention we must follow. For our simple API, we're going to respond with plain text. We will be using the standard JavaScript response object to respond to an incoming request. So we return a new response with the text, hello world. And believe it or not, we have created our first route handler with Next.js. With the dev server running, in the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash hello. We see the same plain text as response. Hello world. Our route handler is working as expected. This is pretty much the gist of route handlers. Create a route.ts file that exports HTTP verbs as functions. In our example, a get request to slash hello results in the get handler being executed and responding with hello world plain text. Now there are two points to make note of. First, similar to page routes, route handlers can be organized in folders and nested within subfolders. This allows for cleaner organization and easier management of routes. For example, you could create a dashboard folder within the app folder, and then add a route handler within the folder. Copy the route.ts file and paste it within the dashboard folder. Change the text to dashboard data. You can then create a subfolder within the dashboard folder for users and create another route handler. Copy and paste route.ts and change the text to user data. In the browser, you can navigate to slash dashboard, which returns dashboard data, and slash dashboard slash users, which returns user data. Second point, be mindful of potential conflicts between page routes and route handlers. For example, if you have a route profile 
with page.tsx with a React component that returns a simple h1 tag profile page and another file named route.ts within the same profile folder with a handler function profile API data. This route.ts will handle the request by default. So if we navigate to slash profile, you will see the text profile API data. To avoid this conflict between page.tsx and route.ts and have both of them working, you can move the route handler to an API subdirectory. So within the profile folder, create API folder and move route.ts within the folder. Now, if I refresh, you can see the profile page is available at slash profile. And the API for the same is available at slash profile slash API. Very important to keep this in mind. To summarize, route handlers allow you to create custom request handlers for a given route. They are defined in a route.js or ts file inside the app directory. A route.ts file at the same route segment level as page.tsx will result in a conflict and the page will not be served. All right, if you now have an idea of how route handlers work, over the next few videos, let me show you simple examples of how to handle get, post, patch, and delete requests with route handlers in Next.js. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.